Hi, I'm going to show you how to use your Casio calculator to convert between uh, rectangular and polar form and polar to rectangular form. And you know, of course, you might want to do this if you're doing any uh, complex number uh, maths in, say, AC circuit theory, which I've done tutorial videos on. For example, we've got our voltage here in polar notation. We've got the real component here at 100 volts, and we've got the complex or angular part uh, called theta at zero degrees here and the impedances z here uh, the, these aren't resistors they're impedances complex impedances made up once again of a real component and an imaginary component but this is in rectangular form so we've got the real component 15 in this case ohms 15 ohms and an angular or imaginary component of minus j20 the minus there indicates that this is capacitive and the positive here indicates that this impedance here is more inductive. And of course to calculate our current here we need to divide our voltage by our total impedance. So our total impedance is in rectangular form because when you add uh, or subtract complex numbers it's better to have them easier to have them in rectangular form like this you just add up the real component there and you add up the imaginary component there it's really simple but if we want to divide the voltage by our impedance total to find our current we need our impedance not in rectangular form like this we need it in polar form like this so here's the answer but how do we use our calculator to actually get that. Good thing about any good scientific calculator is it's going to have a polar to rectangular and rectangular to polar function. And on Casios, you'll typically find that down here on the positive and negative keys. That's what this R to P and P to R thing is on your calculator there. If you've ever seen that and wondered what the heck is that, that's exactly what it's used for. And it makes it really easy to convert between polar and rectangular and vice versa. Now the first thing you've got to absolutely make sure about is that your calculator is in degrees mode. We can switch modes like that and if we're in radians mode or we're in gradients mode there, it's the numbers just aren't going to work because our complex notation is in degrees here. So we have to be in degrees mode on your calculator. So we want the R to P or rectangular to polar button here. It's a shift function. So what we do is we first take our real component. So we go 40 and then we go shift R to P, rectangular to polar. It knows it's in that mode. Now it's waiting for the complex part, which in this case is plus 30. So we just put in 30. If it was minus 30, we would use the, if it was minus J up here, for example, we would put minus in, but it's not. It's plus 30 like that. And we simply press enter and that, it, takes a, you know, it's often might take a second because it's doing a fair bit of maths there. And then it gives us our answer. At first, it gives us our real component, 50, like that. And the imaginary component or the angular component in polar form is in the Y register. So we go shift XY like that. Bingo, 36.87 degrees. And that's how you convert rectangular to polar. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And if you want to convert polar form to rectangular form, you do exactly the same thing. You put in the real component first, 50. We do shift polar to rectangular, P to R mode next. And then we put in our angular component, 36.87. And we press enter and bingo. There we go. It's rounded it a little bit because we rounded the number there, but it's 40. And then the Y register will contain our imaginary part there. It's 30. Simple, huh? So other brand calculators might do this uh, slightly differently, of course, but any good scientific calculator will have R to P and P to R modes, and that's what those magic buttons are for. Very, very handy. So if you liked that video and found it useful, give it a big thumbs up, and as always, discuss down below. Catch you next time.